Lisa Borch. I'm going to talk to you today about preserving your mental health in isolation. An important aspect of mental health is to learn to focus your thoughts on positive things. Now if you if you focus that inward and on what you're feeling and you, you stimulate things to worry about. So it's important to put your attention on the outside of yourself. Which is why I've suggested in my blog that you should get a schedule together. Even if you can't work from home, you can set yourself a daily schedule that includes exercise, that includes some, some reading time, some food preparation time, time to eat, how long you're going to give yourself to, to, to have your meal, um, time for communication, FaceTime, Skype, phone calls, and time to get out and put your attention on the external environment. It, it's kind of like gymnastics for the mind, is to process the pictures, if you like, of your environment. So if you put your attention on, a, I'm looking at the moment out of my window at a brick wall, and I can notice things about that brick wall. That's taken my attention completely off of myself because I put it all over there and that can really help. Uh, one of the things that I mentioned was about avoiding communication with people who make you feel bad about yourself. I wanted to expand on that because my daughter gave me a, such a, an insightful analogy of what that really is. Uh, she suffered from some bullying at school and, and one day she came home from school and she said to me, these people are bucket pickers. And I said, what do you mean? And she said, well, everyone's got this bucket of happiness. And there's certain people who want to dip in your bucket and take out your happiness. And I thought that was wonderful. She also said uh, that she feels like saying to these people, who hurt you? You know, hurt people want to hurt others. And sometimes it's through uh, a back way, you know, a comment or like a compliment that puts your attention all in on yourself and makes you feel somehow bad for something you've done or some some aspect about the way you look or, or the lifestyle you choose. You know, try to avoid those people because they really do dip in your bucket.